Welcome to Fight Master Yoga. I'm Leslie Fight Master, and this is Hatha Yoga Happiness. And we're at day 26, so we're getting really close to our 30 day program. I'm super excited that this is going really well, I think. I hope it is for you too. Today, our suggestion or tool for the day is to practice a random act of kindness without letting the other person know. Remember that there were several years ago there was a pay it forward kind of a movement going on. So something like that. You could pay the toll of the person behind you, um, you know, get creative. You can send somebody something anonymously, like some flowers or something anonymously. A nice letter. It doesn't, you don't even have to spend money. You can just pay someone a nice compliment and if you can figure out a way to do it without them knowing it was you. If you can't figure that out, let them know it was you. Do something nice for somebody today. It always makes you feel good. So our practice today, we will need our two blocks and our strap and our blanket or pillow to sit up on. Unroll your mats, put on something comfortable. Let's get going. So starting in our seated position, let's change the cross of the shins. Sitting nice and tall, start to come into your ujjayi pranayama, your breathing. Look at my shins, comfortable. Lift your chest, let your shoulder blades relax as you ground down through your sitting bones. And then let's take our hands together in front of the heart. We'll create an intention for our practice today. So may our practice help to remind us that as we are taking care of ourselves, that we also think of others and do nice things for other people because it's really, really great for us as well. Everybody wins. It's a total win-win. Let's release the hands. Let your eyes softly blink open. As you inhale, reach your arms out and overhead. Hook your thumbs, reach up nice and tall. Pull your arms away from each other. Draw your shoulder blades toward the waist. Make sure that your ribs aren't popping out. Let's take a breath here. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, center. Reach tall, exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, reach center. Exhale, release, roll the shoulders back. And one more time, inhale, sweep the arms up, hook the thumbs with the other thumb in front, reach up tall, pull your arms away from each other and draw your shoulders toward your waist. So inhale, just gonna hold this one, pull the belly in. Look up a little bit as long as it's okay with your neck. And then release the arms, release the legs. We don't have to release the legs because they're just sitting. Move your pillow out of the way and come onto hands and knees. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Reach your right leg back. Inhale, lift it up from the inner thigh. Remember not to let the back arch. Pull the ribs and belly and extend left arm forward. Press away from the mat and stretch through the arm and the leg for three breaths. Just holding here for two. And then set it down. We've done this before, but just take your ball of the foot to the floor. Take a breath in. Exhale, draw the left knee in. It's always good to do it again anyway, right? Inhale, plank. Exhale, draw the right knee in. Inhale, plank. Exhale, to the knees. Make sure your wrists are still under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. Pull the ribs and belly and extend the left leg back. Inhale, lift it from the inner thigh, drop the outer hip down, pull in your ribs and belly, right arm forward, breathe. Stretch through the arm and the leg. Keep squeezing your right hip in towards center as you drop your left hip down. Couple more breaths. Really working the muscles, so you're hugging the muscles to the bone. And then taking your right hand down, keep the toes tucked under, take the ball of the left foot to the floor, breathe in. Exhale, right knee in. Inhale, plank. Exhale, left knee in. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower slowly to the floor. Untuck the toes, inhale, cobra. Pull the hands toward the feet. Stay with low cobra or come into higher cobra, your choice. Tailbones lengthening toward the heels. 
and then make your way in to downward facing dog and any way you want to move here on this first one. Maybe you don't feel like moving today, just stretch back if that's the case. Otherwise you're bicycling the legs or moving into the shoulders, the hips. Arms and ears are in line. Take one more breath in. Exhale it out, bend your knees, look up, step or hop your feet forward. On the inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. As you exhale, fold in. Press through your feet, rise up, inhaling. Pause at the top, hook your thumbs, pull your arms away from each other again. Pull the shoulder, shoulder blades down toward the waist so the shoulders move right into their sockets. And release. Then inhale to bend the knees for Utkatasana here. Arms and ears in line. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, step to plank and lower through chaturanga, or you can always skip it. Inhaling up, exhale back. Lift your right leg as you inhale from the inner thigh. Exhale, draw the leg in, shoulders over wrists. Take a breath in. Exhale, look up at your right hand, step it all the way through. Stay on the ball of the back foot and come into a high lunge. So bend your back knee first, pull your right hip back, zip in the belly. Straighten through the back leg, reach up. Other thumb in front, reach up tall. Pull the arms away from each other, draw the shoulders into their sockets. Reach nice and tall here. Keep the ribs in, pull the belly in. And then exhale, hands down, come to plank. Knees can be up or down, we're gonna go chaturanga, exhale. Then press back up to plank. Oh, exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, step it, or don't step it yet. Draw the knee in, shoulders over wrists. Take a breath. And looking forward, step it through. Stay on the ball of your back foot. Bend your back knee first. Keep that left knee over the ankle. Reach up. Hook the other thumb in front if you can remember. Straighten through the back leg. Pull your left hip back. Stretch up, pull the arms apart, draw the shoulder blades down, draw the shoulders into their sockets. Breathe. Three. Two more breaths. And bring the hands down, come to plank. Chaturanga, press up to plank. Chaturanga, inhale up dog. Exhale, down dog. Stretching back here. And breathing. And then inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it up by the right hand. Take your left knee down, then straighten the leg. Pull the right toes back, pull the chest forward. You can always have your hands on your bricks also. And then fold. Half splits. We did splits yesterday. We're doing half splits today. Just a couple breaths here. And someone's at the door, but that's okay. Then we'll bend the knee and make our way into down dog any way you like. Someone just delivered something, it sounds like. <laughs> Inhaling up. Exhaling back. Left leg lifts. Inhale. Exhale, step it up. Take the right knee down. And then we'll straighten the front leg. Pull the left hip back. Inhale, lengthen. Folding as you exhale. So hands on bricks if you like, hands on the floor, whatever works, but instead of rounding the back, lead with your chest. And breathe. Stretching out the hamstrings a little bit. Hopefully they're not too sore from yesterday. And then rebend it through your vinyasa or right into down dog your choice. Inhaling up. Exhaling back. 
And inhale, plank pose, pull the belly in, step your feet together, give your legs a little squeeze, roll to the pinky toe side of your right foot, lift your left arm up. Take your bottom knee down for more support, if you like. And watch this top hip wants to roll back, bring it forward. Whoop, not too far forward though. For three, and two, and back to plank. Feet together, squeeze the legs to the left side. Right arm up, remember you can take that bottom knee down. Bring this top hip a little forward. Reach your buns to your heels. Three, two, and one. Back to plank, downward dog. And then we'll walk the hands back to the feet, the feet toward the hands. Come into a forward fold, take your feet hips width, and grab your elbows, rock gently side to side. Bend the knees as needed. And let your head hang down, lightly nodding yes, shaking no, and bring your hands to your hips so the long spine come all the way up. Okay, so last week we practiced little kicks toward handstands. We're going to do that again. This time though, we're going to bring our mat to the wall. Our mat's moving to the wall. Hopefully our camera will move with it. I don't know. Not really. Okay, mat to the wall. <laughs> and you're gonna remember this action here where you're hooking your thumbs, you're gonna pull apart. So your thumbs won't be hooked, but still, like you're pulling apart, shoulder heads into the sockets, and shoulder blades toward the waist. You're not bunched up here. Now really pull in through the belly. And just like we did in side plank, you're gonna squeeze the legs together once you're up, okay? If you get up, if you don't, no worries. Palms flat. Start in a down dog. Just step by step. You can just go as far as you are comfortable going. Step your stronger leg in. I'm right handed. My right foot comes in. Then shoulders right over the wrist. Lift the opposite leg from the inner thigh. Don't let it open. Lift it. Keep your gaze forward. Look at the wall. Take a bend in the knee. Hop. So just hop. And maybe you'll make it up. Maybe you won't. Let's try that again. Just a little hop. Maybe you made it up, maybe you didn't. Doesn't matter. Let's take a little break. Okay, just for fun, I'm gonna do the same thing, but we're not gonna do our stronger leg in front. This time we're gonna do the opposite leg. So I'm gonna put my left leg in front, reach the right leg up from the inner thigh, keep the gaze forward, bend the knee up. Maybe I'll make it to the wall, maybe I won't, and come down. And turning the triceps back, remember those nice arms that we worked on. Look forward, bend, hop, make it up or not. Doesn't matter. Come down and rest. Child's pose. All right. So now you got it going. I'm going to play for a couple minutes. You can do the same thing again with the hands in front. Step one foot, lift, shoulders over wrist, hop. Coming up, this time if you want to take both legs up and practice uh, squeezing the legs, holding, you do that. Or perhaps kicking up into a handstand is just not your thing. This is what you'll do instead. Take your back against the wall, your legs in front, find where your ankle bone is and just mark it with a brick or something so you know where the hands will go. Put your hands where your block is. Let's move it over here so you can see. Short down dog against the wall. Then step one foot up, tucking the toes under and the other. So that way you're getting all the same work and benefits of a handstand except you don't have to kick. It's not as scary. This actually looks scarier than it is. I'm going to turn my triceps back toward the wall. And then I could even, if I want to work more on uh, my belly muscles, come down about halfway, pull the belly in as much as you can, and hold it. Come down when you're ready to rest. So those are your, your choices. So if you want to play a few more minutes, 
then push pause and play a little bit longer. If you want to continue, you can follow me. I'm going to move my mat back to where it was. Just right over here. Sort of close to where it was, hopefully. And come to seated and press the backs of the hands together. So there's a lot of pressure on the wrist when you're doing handstands. So we're just going to stretch them out and then point the fingertips up, touch your palms, and make a circle. And we're going to circle all the way up. This kind of reminds me of if I were some sort of a, I think it's like a belly dancing thing actually, which I don't know how to belly dance, but I know how to do the hands. And then go the opposite direction. But it does make me feel like I'm kind of dancing, like a waterfall. Good. All right. Big fists, circle the wrists. And now we're just going to come onto our backs for a little bridge pose. All right. So if you want to do supported bridge, get your brick handy. If you don't, you don't need it. Take your feet hips distance apart. Make sure the heels are under the knees. Toes point in a little toward each other. Pull in the belly. Press into the heels. Lift. Roll shoulders under. And interlace the fingers or grab the sides of the mat. Keep your chin away from your chest. Take a couple breaths here, spiral the thighs in. And come down to rest. Let's take soles of feet together, knees apart in Supta Baddha Konasana to rest a moment. And let's do one more bridge, or maybe two more bridges. So feet hips width, outer edges of the feet parallel. Lift up, so you're lifting your hip bones toward your lower ribs. You're trying to make this part smaller and then try to get more length here in the back body. Other pinky on top if you're interlacing. Keep the chin away from the chest and you can kind of traction your shoulder blades toward the waist if you press onto the heels slightly and draw them down. So as I press, I can use my mat, the little stickiness of the mat to bring the shoulders toward the waist. And let's come on down, soles of feet together, knees apart. So let's do one more. You can do another bridge. You can take your brick and do a supported bridge, or you can take a wheel. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do wheel this time, full um, Urdhva Dhanurasana. So feet are the same, outer edges of the feet parallel, hands up by the ears, elbows point straight up, first pausing at the crown of the head, then line up your wrists and your elbows, make sure your elbows stay parallel, they don't splay out, and then press up for five breaths. Four, stretch out the whole front of the body. Three, two, now to come down, bring your chin into your chest first, Lower slowly, slowly. And then let's just take the right knee into the chest first and extend the left leg out. Hmm. And switch, left leg in, right leg out. Both legs in, rocking. A little bit side to side. And you can roll to the right and press up or rock back and forth. Take two or three rocks up and down the spine. I'm going to take one more and come all the way up. And let's take Janish or Sasana. Extend the legs. Bend your right knee, the right sole of the foot to the left inner thigh. You can always bring a block underneath that right leg if the leg is up high. Protect your knee. Pull your left toes back. Inhale, arms reach, turn toward the straight leg, hinge from the hips, exhale forward. Pull the chest forward, inhale, lengthen, exhale, extend. Remember, you can sit up on your blanket or block or pillow. You can use your strap to hold the foot. But instead of rounding, try to lead with your chest. Just three breaths here. Hmm. 
And then head up, inhale, and release. Then take your left hand behind you, reach your right arm up, inhale. Exhale, take it across and twist. So you can take it all the way to the foot if you like or anywhere along the leg. Just a little twist, a little spinal twist. That's two breaths. And then head to center and unwind. Now we're just gonna cross this left, I'm sorry, this right shin in front of the left shin, or you can do right shin on top of the left shin. So remember we did this before, make sure shin is on top of shin. If that doesn't work, maybe this knee's way up high or it's just really uncomfortable, then put the left shin in front instead of on top. Inhale, pull the chest forward. If you already have a good stretch, stay, or exhale forward. Relax the shoulders and the jaw. Long breaths. Let's make our way up. And extend the legs and then we'll bend the left knee for Janashirsasana. Pull the right toes back. Remember you can put a a block under there if you like. Inhale, arms reach. Turn your torso a little bit. Hinge from the hips. Exhale. Pull the chest forward. Lengthen, lengthen. Inhale. Exhale to extend. And you're pulling these toes back to firm your straight leg. And breathe. Always, always focusing in on the breath. Remember, don't let your head drop down. Keep your Gaze a little bit forward. Inhale, head up. Exhale to release. Right hand behind. Left arm up, get nice and tall. Exhale, take it across. Twisting. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Keep these right toes pointed up and pulled back. And then head to center, unwind, and now the right shin will go in front of the left or on top of the left. So remember, shin on top of shin, ankle over knee, knee over ankle, or it's in front, okay? Flex your ankles. If you already feel a good stretch, stay. Otherwise, bring the hands forward, pull the chest forward, and exhale, extend. Nice, long breaths. Relax your shoulders and jaw. Just one more breath. And head up and release. Coming onto your back. Get yourself ready for Shavasana. So lengthen your Buns towards your waist, or toward the backs of your knees, sorry. Shoulder blades toward the waist. Let your feet flop open. Bring your arms out by the sides. Palms up. Close your eyes. And just imagine that someone's pulling on your feet and just rocking them gently to lengthen out your whole body. Close your eyes. Natural breathing, quiet mind, quiet body. Shavasana.
right where you are. Take a bigger breath in. And let it go. And start to make some movements in your fingers and your toes. And your hands and your feet. Reach out through your arms and legs. Stretch. And then bend the knees. Roll yourself off to the right. Pausing a moment just for gratitude for all of our blessings. And then with your left hand, press yourself up carefully. Let your head come up last. And come to a comfortable seat for our quote today. From Rita Shiano. She says, talking about our problems is our greatest addiction. Break the habit. Talk about your joys. So what we focus on, we bring in. Focus on the joy, more joy comes. Bring the hands together. Hands to the forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to the heart reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. Hands to the mouth to remind us to have clear and loving communication, sending out positive energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. I'm so glad you joined today. I hope that the rest of your day is awesome. Don't forget to push the like button and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.